Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I wanted to um, take the time out today and talk to you guys about um, what is exactly going on in the world today. Remember, I've told you in past videos that whatever is going on in the heavenly realm will manifest itself in the earthly realm, okay? Um... We have a bit of good versus evil that is going on. I don't know if you guys have seen the story or heard the story. I'm getting right into it. Um, the little sweet dove versus the evil black raven. Good versus evil. The of uh, uh, Pope Francis had two little small children to release uh, two doves as a symbol of peace. And um, as soon as these doves was released, immediately a raven attacked one of the doves and a seagull attacked the other dove, uh, breaking loose some feathers from the second dove. Now, that right there is what I mean by whatever's going on in the heavenly realm will manifest itself in the spiritual realm. Right now, we are in the middle of um, uh, discussing this uh, peace deal with uh, Israel, the Palestinians, and Kerry has been over there uh, like 11 times, and they are hoping to have this peace deal wrapped up by April that's where we are in the biblical timeline the uh, remember um, the Bible says in the last days uh, as it was uh, with Noah uh, remember when Noah was in the ark and he sent out first the ravens uh, to let him know basically if it was okay for him to come out and the, ne and the ravens never returned, but he sent out dove. He sent out a dove, okay? He sent out doves. And the doves returned back. A dove returned back with an olive tree branch in its mouth, okay? That olive tree branch represented uh, the anointed one, okay? It represented the Holy Spirit, the Anointed One, Jesus, the olive branch, okay? The church, as uh, in relate, relation to the dove that we see here in this photo, uh, I feel represents the church, the bride of Christ, okay? And then you have the raven representing... Um, uncleanliness, evil, darkness, death, okay? As soon as the doves went out for peace, that sudden destruction came up on the, that, that dove, you know, and I know you guys, you know, you've probably been getting uh, attacked all kinds of ways in your families, in your marriages, with your children, with people on your job. Look, the, the beast, the spirit of the Antichrist is in the world, okay? Satan knows that he has but a short time. And just like that little dove is attacked, I mean, you know, the spiritual realm is letting us know, you know, uh, symbolically where we are. Um, I do believe. Uh, remember when Pope Benedict back last year, February 11th, this lightning struck um, the uh, St. Peter's Dome at the top of the dome as soon as he resigned on February 11th of last year. That in itself, I thought, was, you know, like um, a prophetic, you know, biblical milestone. Remember that scripture in the Bible, Luke ten eighteen, where it says, uh, behold, I saw Satan fall from heaven uh, like lightning. Uh, 
you know. But that raven, which is Satan's bird, represents, again, dark, evil, Satan spirit. The dove, God's spirit, I'm sorry, God's bird, represents pure, clean, the symbol of the Holy Spirit. Okay? The dove, I believe that same dove is the one that, Remember the dove that descended upon Jesus after he was baptized and God said, uh, this is my son and who I am, my beloved son and who I am well pleased. You guys can read that in Matthew chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. Okay. God was showing us uh, at that time that Jesus was the anointed one. And, um, you know, I told you that. He said in the last days, as it was in the last days with Noah, what was going on back then, the same thing, evil, darkness. Before we were saved and given the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we were too unclean beings. We were dark and full of evil until we were saved. Are you saved? Are you saved today? Okay. Um, John, the book of John, chapter 8, uh, verse 44. I'm going to read a scripture here in the book of John. Um, so get your Bibles turn with me, please, to John, chapter 8, verse 44. And it reads, Um, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. He has a mur he was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he spaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Nikki, why did you read that scripture, and what are you talking about? Well, you guys. Um, why do you suppose this happened? I believe this happened um, when the as soon as the Pope released those doves as a symbolism of peace, and we know that is a false peace. Um, and um, what I'm getting at, I believe, as many others do, that Pope Francis is the false prophet. That is why I read to you. Uh, John chapter 8, verse 44. Um, you know, and also Muslims, you know, they believe also, I mean, what I'm getting at is Muslims and Catholic Church to me are of, of works spiritual religious works and as i go forward with this i'm going to show you what i'm talking about okay um but hope francis the reason why i said i feel like that he is um the false prophet many christians argue over and over and that's something that we should not do People are arguing about who they think uh, Babylon is, America, or the Roman Catholic Church. I will not say at this time, at this time, I'm going to keep that opinion to myself. But, now, as I get further in this um, today, please, my Catholic brothers and sisters, um, before you attack me, hear me out, Okay. Um, I just want to try to read um, some biblical truths outlining and pointing out um, what seems to be the obvious, okay? Um, let's see. Revelation. First, let, let, let me read this. Pope Francis um, spoke to... You know, uh, the, the gays and the atheists, okay? And um, to the gay community, 
he said that he remembered that there was a little girl that came to him um, and said that, um, well, he said, I remember, quote, I remember the case of a very sad little girl who finally confided to her teacher the reason for her state of mind. My mother's girlfriend doesn't like me, Francis said. Okay, he remarks, which the remarks that he made on November 29th uh, were reported that Friday. Uh, the percentage of children studying in schools who have separated parents is very high. Francis said, this situation in which we live now provides us with new challenges, which sometimes are difficult to understand. And the Pope received praise from the gay rights groups. And um, he says, if someone is gay and seeks the Lord with goodwill, who am I to judge? First off, again, if you've seen my other past re uh, videos, you have to have righteous judgment. And what he says, I mean, look, the Bible says, the, another reason, let me tell you why I believe that he is the false prophet. Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. Please turn there quickly with me. It reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Okay, contrary to what, to what he may be saying, you know, he's implying that See, you know, we, we're hurting the little children, and the little children don't understand that why, um, I, you know, the the lesbian, my, my mother's gay friend don't like me, and we should love everybody. Of course, we should love everybody, but um, he's making it, you know, he's he's drawing up these blurred lines like there's a gray area when we do know what the bible clearly says about gays okay first corinthians chapter 6 9 and 11 uh read it for yourself for time's sakes but it clearly says neither idolaters okay and then it goes on to say the infeminate and read it for yourself, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Please read that scripture. That is not the truth. This man is speaking as a dragon, like a lamb. He looks like a lamb, but he's speaking like a dragon. It's all blurred. It's twisted. It is not right. Um, also, Revelation 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay? That, that right there... It is is wrong okay he's also said you know he's humble he's in the image of a lamb lamb but he speaks as a dragon we do know who the real lamb is it's Jesus Christ he's the false lamb okay um, he also told the atheist um, and I quote uh, Francis said, atheists, who do good are redeemed, not just Catholics. He says, quote, the Lord created us in his image and likeness, and we are the image of the Lord. And he does good, and all of us have his commandment. At heart, do good, and do not evil, all of us. But Father, this is not Catholic. You cannot do good. Yes, you can. The Lord has redeemed all of us, all of us with the blood of Christ. Not just Catholics, everyone. Father, 
the atheists, even the atheists, everyone. We must meet everyone doing good, but I don't believe, Father, I am atheist. But do good, we will meet one another there. He's telling them to do good. Telling the atheists that all they have to do is to do good. And, and you know, and he goes on to say, you know, like the world is changing. And, and, and it's okay if you do good. I'm sorry. Doing good is not going to get us in the kingdom of heaven. Doing good is works. This man is speaking a lie. Remember I read John 8 and 44. It is a lie. Read your Bibles for yourself, my Catholic friends. I know you sit in that sanctuary, in that church, and the priest, he reads from... Uh, uh, some booklet that, that you you get and you get it already pre-planned for a year and it is not the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible says study yourself approved. Get the own understanding. This the, the, the message that they give is fed to you. You're not reading it for yourself. I'm not bashing anyone but I'm just Speaking the biblical truths to get you to hear me out and pray on it and, and, and just process this. This is a lie from the pits of hell. Now let's see what the Bible says in the book of Romans 10 chapter um, in the book of uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Um, through 11 on what we have to do uh, to, to be saved because what he's saying is a lie okay uh, so if you have your Bibles open to Romans verse chapter 10 verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. Okay? So, where is it that it said... That anybody that does not believe in him can also make it through the kingdom of heaven. No. And also in what I read, he kept saying, you would hear, Father, the atheist. Father, I am the atheist. But if we do good, we can't do good. And, and Father this and Father that. He also... Uh, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 23, verse 9. Let's roll over there. Okay. Matthew chapter 23, verse 9 reads, And call no man your father up on the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. God the Father. John 14, 6. The only way to the Father is through whom Jesus Christ so Catholics call their priest father. Okay. He also urges both Christians and Muslims to promote mutual respect. He called the Muslims our brother. We don't share the same father. Muslims cannot be Christians brother. He want the Christians and the Muslims to promote mutual respect and wanting the Muslims, wanting the Christians to call the Muslims our brothers. Well, for them to be our brother, we have to share the same father. Muslims believe in Allah, okay, which is the father of lies, read the Quran. Um, the, what... Really what they're doing is promoting what? The New World Religion. Chris Lum. 
and trying to yoke it together. No, again, this man is making gray areas and blurred lines and trying to bring it all like, you know, he's bringing in this peace and it's all about love. And we just got to, we just have to accept everything that is not how it's supposed to be. It goes against the Holy Bible. It goes against the Christian doctrine that is not correct. Muslims believe in the, in the Quran that teaches violence and hate. Um, that religion, if you leave it, they want to kill you. So that religion is, 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 is not right. God is all about love, peace, and joy, and happiness. And um, also for the atheists, I'm going to read uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 16 um, for you atheists. If you're watching this video, please don't change the channel on me and get all flustered and mad. Hear me out. Uh, because let me add this. You may not believe in Jesus right now, but believe and hear this and put this in your spirit, in your soul. Jesus said, when that day come, all, every knee shall bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. So you may not be confessing that he's Lord right now, but believe me, you will do it one day. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So how is it that what Pope Francis was telling you is the truth? Well, why, Nikki, would you speak so offensive against the Catholic faith and the Muslim faith? How do we know that that faith is the right one? Well, first off, God created the heavens and the earth. We are made in the image of the Father, God. You know, and he, Pope Francis tried to imply that, you know, we're made in the image of him, and, you know, in, in the image of the Lord. And it's all about love. It, it, the world is changing. We, we must um, change with it. No, I just read the scripture. Atheist, please, I'm going to read it again. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believe it not shall be damned so please do not believe this man he speaks as a dragon looks like a lamb he's even acting like a lamb but he's speaking like a dragon it is not correct catholicism is works they believe in praying to the father or a priest for remission of sins when the bible clearly says that jesus died for our sins Jesus went to the cross for our sins. They go into the closet for confessions and um, they ask the priest to, you know, to forgive them for their sins. And you have to do so many Hail Marys and there's all these steps and processes that you have to go through before you get to when all you have to do is believe that he died on the cross for your sins, believe in him, confess it with your mouth, believe that he was raised from the dead. Not all this steps and one, two, three, and you got to do this and you got to do that. It's not all about that. That is man's way to God. It's all a re religious uh it's, it's just out of order. It, it is, it's just not correct. Okay. And all you have to do so many Hail Marys and, and, um, ask, go in, in the confession and ask for the priest to forgive you for sins. Then why did Jesus die on the cross? Why would he, did, I mean, if, if the Catholics do, do, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe that he died on the cross? Then if you do believe that he died on the cross, there had to be a reason that he died on the cross. Why? 
for your sins. So why go in a closet and pray to another man when the Bible says, do not call that man father. And God is a jealous God. He says we should not put any other God before him. No other father before him. We only have one father. Did Jesus die in vain? If you don't believe that, God forbid. No, he did not. Um, you guys, they, the Catholics also believe that there is one sin greater than another sin. No, there isn't. There isn't. And why am I saying this? Because I actually had someone that was Catholic that actually came to me and said, Oh yeah, there is a sin greater than another sin. No, it is not. Romans 3.23 says that we all have sinned and come short in the glory of God. The Bible clearly tells us that our sins are as filthy rags. We cannot, no, we cannot work our way to heaven we are not saved by works salvation is available to gays and atheists yes we do love them yes we do all that but it's through it is through belief and repentance through whom jesus christ it's buried in the likeness of his death meaning baptism as a symbol uh, symbolism as when Jesus died buried in the likeness of his death raised in the newness of life okay um, this is what we have to do but getting some oil put on your head is not is not baptism that is just something you know that i i do believe this this religious system that man created to do it their way to god and is is totally totally incorrect and um like i said i know there there are going to be people bashing me on this i know it's okay it's okay i'm okay with that I'm open to all comments always, um, but remember, watch my Christian behavior video b before you do that. But, I, b you know, I'm purely coming from the heart. What I'm trying to do is to get you to open the Bible for yourself, read it for yourself. Okay, I am not trying to judge anyone. I'm doing righteous judgment, telling you what the Bible clearly says. Reading the scriptures, please, I say it all the time, read behind me. Do that with anybody. In the Catholic Church, you don't get to do that. You don't even read from the Holy Bible. Okay? Um, you know, I heard a Catholic once told me, um, that she felt like she kept feeling like she needed to read the Bible. She didn't know why, but she just kept feeling like she needed to read the Bible. I gave her one, and you know what she said? She asked if it had been blessed. It's, it's steps when all you have to do is get the Bible and read it for yourself. The Bible is already blessed. Jesus came in the volume of the book. That's through Genesis all the way to Revelation. Um, this, this false religious system is deceiving the whole world. And, you know, like I said, I don't know. This, this, um, this, this new world religion is setting the stage on the scene. And I do believe that when Pope Benedict left, that lightning didn't strike, strike that strike, strike that dome for nothing. You know, um, I think a lot of people are in the dark and need to be led to the light.
please read the Bible. You could, you know, talk about me, curse me out or whatever. But before you do that, just read it for yourself. Uh, please also turn turn to Romans chapter 4, um, verses 2 through 6. I want to point out something else. Romans chapter 4, verse 2 through 6. And it reads, For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. Verse 3, For what said the scripture, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Verse 4, Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Verse 5, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Verse 6, even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness without works. Okay, see there again, we, you, you don't, you cannot save yourself when we already have a savior. We already have a savior. That debt has been paid. So you don't have to do so many Hail Marys and to, to pay off a sin and that priest forgive you for it. You can clearly go in a closet, get out on your knees. Jesus, please forgive me after accepting him. Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. That's it. It is no works. You do not have to go and, 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 and pray. And we yes, we confess our sins. To Jesus Christ. Mary did not ascend up into die on that cross and ascend up into heaven, which a lot believe. It was Jesus that died on that cross and ascended up into heaven. Look, people, there are a lot of things that's going on in the world right now. Jesus is really, really speaking. You know, he said there will be signs in the sun and the moons and the heavens and stars earthquakes and diverse places you know there are a lot of people that is still in the dark with their head in the sand and there are a lot of people that are not paying attention please hear the words that are coming out of my mouth there we are running out of time now i'm not saying that you know the you know the, there's going to be a rapture um, but he gave us the signs before the rapture. These signs are here. Please hear me. Get saved. Believe in Jesus Christ that he died for your sins. Get baptized. Get in a Bible-based church. Okay? Be saved. Remember, I love you guys. And Jesus wants you. See you guys next time.